What a coincidence. It's 1.618 is the average height for humanity. And then if we go to 10 to the 10th power, then we're at the scale of a solar system. And if we go 10 to the negative 15th power, we're at the scale of a hydrogen atom. So then physicists keep saying, well, well we got to go to the, the muons and the lepton scale, right? Much smaller. We're going to go to quarks. And every time they go to another layer, they find another three things. Proton, electron, neutron. We don't want to call it proton, electron, neutron because they have to give it a new name because someone else has to get a naming right to it. So then you just keep going further and further down. And actually, it would just be the same thing to go clustering up. So you've got solar systems that then go to galaxies and the galaxies become galactic clusters and galactic clusters become a universe. And now they're talking about a multiverse. It's the same thing in a repetitive self-similar cycle as a fractal over and over and over again in both directions. So that at the scale of 10 to the negative 60th power and 10 to the 60th power for the universe. At 10 to the 120th power is the difference between those two scales. When you start to realize that the universe is all mental, you can see how this just becomes a fractal of expression that keeps replicating through its reflections infinitely, like mirrors.